straight back in the mix after the US Open. This is the lineup coming for you today. It's well played from Lobin, just and that was six five. aware that Tandon was quite close to him, but he just played through. found that backhand drop range. Be interesting to see how many backhand drops he's played with five in one section of one rally. Certainly been very, very stop start and Tandon is, is initiating that. That's a great flick, just overcooked it a little. And he's done him again. He's done him twice with the same shot, but the second one was the one that finished the rally and that is obviously huge because it's brought into game ball and very broken rhythm suiting Tandon so far again on the attack. Look at this, Joey. Might be in a bit of bother here. Yeah, uh, again, if the ball was shorter from Lobin and softer, there's a chance be end up being a no let because Tandon doesn't have a huge amount of interest in moving forward on that. Tandon leads one game. So certainly a lot of activity with the referee in the first game of this. No, but he's got to put that out of his mind and, and focus on his game. You know, can't have a match determined just by decisions either going your way or not. He's got to play squash. And make it physical. He's trained Three. very, very hard. He's in good shape. Seven. Points there, sort of picking the pocket of Tandon, perhaps. He's, yeah, it's his demeanour and the, and and the, and the slumping of the shoulders is not looking good right now psychologically. From you know, it's not rocket science, Johnny. You know, you don't need to know the game when the ball's that low. Right? You're not going to be able to play a shot with that pressure. Yeah. Seven. Well, Ramit Tandon is capitalised. Greg Lobin is, is at sea. With a few hustles around the middle, just using a bit of body strength as well. It's good play there, just held his ground and made Tandon just go a little bit further around Six him. Sword. In these end stages, Joey. Yeah, it's been the thing. <laughs> oh, That's it's shot. amazing! But it's unbelievable. Like he's ten, and the way he, and you know, from his uh, as his racket just got a bit tangled, but that was his own fault. Oh, he's in trouble here. Yeah, the video ref's been thrown the hot frankfurter or the hot potato, Joey, because uh, Lobin's initial movement. Well, the thing is, this situation on game ball, game game one, Tandon played two flicks. This is what shows how this shows how short. He's got a strike. <laughs> he's got a to Lobin. Eleven nine game to Lobin. Tandon. That is phenomenal, Joey. <laughs> so can Greg Lobin just keep shaking off these sort of errors, which are allowing Tannen to have a, a mini look in. Lobin again, just opening it up now. We're down to a two point gap. Six eight. He's very. If Tannen wins this point, then we're getting edgy, for sure. Play. Yeah, executed that. That was a bit of pressure there. Ball from the low line to the back of the court presented this opportunity to finish. So. Oh, he's oh. Oh. there. He's completely lost his concentration. No, pick up is good. Surely they're going to check it, Joey. Surely. to have a look at it. No, I, I know pick up is good. One foot out the door at 10-7. And Lobin just could not 
up find those tight lines, but he's hanging in he by, is, he's by his fingernails on well the cliff forward. here. <laughs> yes, yeah. A bit of freedom yeah. to play those balls in the front. Yeah. Looking for him again there. Oh, what a finish. Good, yeah, that was good. The ironic thing is that he knocked himself off kilter because he went initially for Lobben and then realised he could play the ball. And this was very good hands from Lobben, Johnny. Very good indeed. So there's a lot of there's a lot of influence there from just watching and admiring the Imperial Egyptian. Both that uh, the best player by Goltier that he played. Quite clear he was pretty clear about that in, in his interview with you. And that was completely invisible, and that's just an example of the trickiness of Tandon when he's up for the fight. I mean, that, you can't coach that. Yeah, well and that's that shot-making ability of Tandon. And we've seen throughout the match that that was a bit of a role, but he's played the, the flick out of that front left. And oh, he's done it. That's well played. <laughs> 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 he scurried along here. I mean, he had to go no, for it. Seven a heavy shot from Tandon. Still, still serving with two match balls. Yeah, right. eight, so, Ramit Tandon scores his second victory 11, nine, over 11, seven, Greg Lobben of 11, Scotland. 5-2. Patrick Rooney moving quickly now to 9-3 in this first game. It's an example of just the pure racket quality there of Rooney as he carves that one cross-court Nick. He's I mean, on paper, Johnny, when you think about the rankings and also the experience of Yip, I felt it would have been a lot tougher. So far, it's pretty straightforward here for young Rooney. as well it's comfortable he's a bit of a run out in the, in the park really for Rooney like a Sunday afternoon practice match or Sunday morning practice match yeah, the, the foot speed is just unreal at the end isn't it like the way he can be going the wrong direction there and just turn on a dime and just take off. Just all about his willingness to invest in that a bit longer and be patient. Just about that. That was clear that he was on the wrong line there. It's important that we start to see more of that. That uh, the players are just going into the front corners looking for a cheap rubber, but it's not given. Probably be well aware that he's playing a different yip today, who's bringing a lot more fire into the game. a bit surprised that he's not trying to use a bit more hold and deep rather than just sort of trying I know it's his natural game perhaps to sort of want to take it in and move the ball around the front but he needs to be more severe on this very severe court and he's not doing that too well right now
Yeah, that's better from Rooney. We've seen two extended diagonal balls. The rangy figure of Rooney serving with four game balls, whipping a bit of oxygen debt here. Down. And there's the error. So Re-establishing the reins in this first round encounter, Patrick Rooney. Back within this yet. Yip has been given all the impetus he needs. This fourth game was just Top. not taxing enough, and we're going to go into a Nine fifth five. with Yip pretty game fresh here. legged game as well. Off. Yeah, he's uh, recovered after the the blip in the third game yet physically. It's a lovely finish, so Rooney is, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I watched him play August Nine, Dussault in, uh, on, on the side court at the US Open and they had an absolute straight run through. It was 9-5 up, five points in a row for Rooney. And there's the 10. I mean, Rooney looks up to the ceiling there. It's going to be an interesting interview from the man from the northwest of England. And Andy Taylor. 47 minutes, 3-2 victory. Which we'll get into tomorrow. Four pairings, eight out of the top 16 having to play each other. So certainly makes it exciting. Yep. Five, two. James is doing enough here just to peg his way in front. Control the yeah. lovely finish there from Amjad. Long range drop shot. And out three six. You do feel that's the kind of this is the kind of risk he has to uh, take on to sort of get into this match. It's a lovely boast. So Declan James looking confident four, and James smooth. James. James leads one game to love. Get stuck into Declan James here and cause him some some issues and bring some physical elements to the game which might trouble James. And this is the, the thing that player of Amjad's level is just okay. finishes there. Very, very high risk, but manages to find the mark. And out. One love. Still that question mark down at seven. Down. Well, I've got to say that that's the type Six. of game he needs to Three. play to trouble the rhythmical play of Declan. Oh, that was a beautiful serve, Johnny. He may have just dropped in, but uh, once those are called out, they're staying out. That's a 
Oh. First time we've seen that unleashing of the beast, 11, so five, to speak. Game to change. James yeah, he's waiting. Two games just wanted to wait till he was in a secure position to do that, Johnny. Apparently the live stream is up on the side courts as well, Joey, so that message we can send out now. The live stream is Three, up and running. Six. Forehand, and I think back in 2018 19, when he was on a, a bit of a surge towards, towards his best world ranking, see a bit of it there. But I'd like to see him releasing that power a bit more, especially from good positions around that mid court area, because that is a, a real weapon with his range and height. No, no. Spreading out no. a bit and really just absolutely Eight. clobbering Eight. through the ball, Joey. Well. Finished it first time, so 11, nice seven, run out there for James, James on the glass Three court, just to get well. accustomed to things. So his 11, first four, PSA 11, event, five. 35 minutes, three love victory for Declan James over Syed Aslan Amjad of Qatar. First, wearing the dark sneakers. A lovely hold there. Kandra's Three sprung into action here very quickly. Kandra's very much aware of the opportunity that stares him at this event as well. He's in one of these sections of the draw where Highest ranked player to get through to the last 16. That's a bit fortunate. No, that was a good shot. Seven. Sporty practices. Kandra summing up that first game very easily. Towards a practice a few things and, and make the most of the opportunity. Because as we know, there's some very, very tough draws out there. He loves to just fiddle and play around at the front and it's, it can look very nice, but this is the key for me in terms of whether or not he can make the jump back initially, get back in the top 20, solidify there, is whether or not he can temper those those instinctive sort of patterns that he likes to produce. He, he needs to find a solid base to work from before he does it, and he just can't afford to do that. So just a few uh, nice passages of play here where Omelk has found a bit better range, managed to actually get a few past Kandra, which has been the first time in the match. Certainly, sequentially, that he's managed that. So, so too lovely Kandra now. Kandra just needs to, to keep his focus a little bit. a few things but just do it efficiently and show the rest of the players in the draw that he's you know up for the event So Kandra gets his win on the board in this first round, 22 minutes.